I'm making this tutorial for Tech Goes Home. Tech Goes Home empowers communities to access and use digital tools to overcome barriers and advance lives by providing access to digital skills training, hardware, and affordable internet access. Check them out at www.techgoeshome.org. Hi, I'm Nessie Ruiz, and I'm going to show you how to download Zoom onto your Chromebook. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is go to your launcher. That's at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. It's a little circle kind of inside of another circle. Um, so you're going to find that, put your mouse right over it, and then uh, click on your mouse. Then that's going to sort of bring that bottom bar um, up, the little launcher. You'll see that this guy's a little bit animated here, the, the arrow. That's to let you know that there's actually more. So if you click on that arrow, it's going to pull the page up. And then you're going to see all of your apps here. Um, at the top, you'll see the last couple apps that you used, and then you'll see whatever apps you have downloaded, um, or probably the ones that came with your Chromebook will all already be on there. Um, and if you've downloaded any, you'll see those as well. One thing to note is that on the right, there are two circles. Um, these are actually indica uh, indicate how many pages of apps there are. So. The top circle is filled in. That tells me that I'm on the first page of apps. So if I go down to the second circle and click on it, you'll see that it's going to get filled in and you'll see that my whole page changed. So I basically went from the first page of apps to the second page of apps. So I can switch back and forth to look at all my apps. Um, if you fill up both your pages and you're downloading more apps, it'll just add a third page and you'll see another third circle right down here as well. So what you wanna do once you're here is actually find the Chrome Web Store. So that's this icon right here. It looks like a little shopping bag with the Chrome logo in it, the Web Store. So um, Chromebooks, that is the main store for a Chromebook. Um, you're not gonna find the Google Play Store on this Chromebook. You can download it, with some Chromebooks are compatible, but not all. So you're really looking for the Chrome Web Store, which is right here. So once you find that, you're gonna click on that and it's gonna take you right to the page. These are all the apps and all the things available for the Chromebook. So what you wanna do at the top, there's actually a lot of stuff called Zoom. So we're gonna find the app that we're looking for. So at the top where it says, uh, search the store, I can see that my cursor is blinking, so I know that um, I'm ready to type in that little field there. So I'm gonna type Z-O-O-M, and you'll see that it starts giving me some options. And you can either press enter on your keyboard, or you can select Zoom right here and click on that as well. So either way is fine. And it's gonna pull up a bunch of stuff that has the word Zoom in it, right? So some of it is what we want, some of it isn't. So what you wanna do to help you find it easier is you're gonna look back over here on the menu and you'll see that this store has extensions, that's stuff to add to Google Chrome. Um, it has themes and it also has apps. So you wanna actually look for the Zoom app for the Chromebook. So you're gonna go over to apps and you're gonna click on this circle right here and that's gonna filter so that you're only seeing the apps and then you'll be able to find the correct one. So that one at the top here, Says so Zoom, it looks like this. It's offered by zoom.us, so that's the one we want. Um, and so you're once you get there, you're gonna just click on either the word or um, the picture anywhere in here. You can kind of see that my arrow goes from an arrow to a little hand, so that means that it's a link. So that whole area is a link. So I'm just gonna do one click right there. It's gonna open the Zoom page. Here we go. Um, there is some information here, so if you wanna look at some, you know, screenshots of what it looks like or read a little bit of information you can do that but all you really need to do is click right here where it says add to chrome so put your mouse over it when you see the little hand with the little finger then you're going to go ahead and click on your mouse i'm just going to click one time it's going to let me know that zoom has access to my microphone and my camera it exchanges some information and it can write um, to files and folders which is fine it's all stuff that uh, we want to let Zoom do, right? So instead of, uh, you can cancel if you want to back out, but otherwise you go ahead and press add app. So I'm going to put my mouse over it and then just give it a click. And you'll see that it's downloading right here. So we're just going to let it finish. And we got some notifications that Zoom was successfully installed. So let's go check it out. So I'm going to go back to my launcher. 
and I'm going to click on it right there. And you'll see that actually I see Zoom right here now. It's in my recent apps. So again, that little line up here is the stuff you most recently used, right? And the last two apps I was touching was the web store and Zoom. So I'm gonna also just click this arrow to extend, extend the page so that you can see. Um, it also added Zoom here as an app as well. Um, if you want to, if you're gonna use it a lot, you can actually take that, uh, click on it, hold the click, and then drag it down and you can put it on your bar down here. And then you'll always have it right there and it'll be very easy access. So um, just, you know, a recommendation that helps, but it doesn't really matter where you click on it. You can click on it from here or you can always go back into your apps. Um, you can click it from here or you can click it from the main page, doesn't matter. So um, when you're ready to join a Zoom meeting, you're gonna click on that. So here's Zoom. Um, you don't actually need an account if you're just joining meetings. If you wanna host a meeting and you wanna invite someone, then you are gonna need to make an account. So you would go to sign in um, and you can, you know, kind of just go through like sign in with your email or sign in with Gmail. Um, if you don't have one, it, I think it'll ask you to, to make an account, but you don't actually need one. So um, all you need is the meeting ID and then you put in your name. So there's actually two ways to get into a meeting. One is with the meeting ID. So you have that or with the link. So I'm gonna bring up my email. Here's my email. And this is the email that somebody will send you, usually with all this information, not always, but they're gonna send you what you need. So the most important things to look at is um, two ways to join the meeting is with the, um, this link right here, so the Zoom meeting link, that'll take you right to the meeting. If you don't have that, they might give you the meeting ID. So right under it is the meeting ID, oops, right there. And sometimes there's a passcode. There's not always a passcode, it just sort of depends. I did add one to this meeting so that you can see the process, but you're not always going to be asked for a passcode. So I can do two things, I can click on this, and when I click on that, it's just gonna go ahead and open my Zoom app right away and put in the meeting ID and ask me what my name is. So I would put in Nessie as my first name. I like to include my pronouns. You don't have to, but I like to do that. And then you can select whether um, you wanna connect your audio right away and if you wanna turn off your video, um, that's totally up to you. Um, sometimes if I'm joining a meeting and I think there's gonna be a lot of people, I will, um, you know, just maybe not connect right away, but you probably want to get in there and then um, decide. So I usually leave these just like that. Um, and you'll notice again, if you don't get this, the link and they just send you the meeting ID, then I would just copy this um, and paste it right into here, right? So meeting ID and your name, and then you're going to click on join. Now, in this case, I have a meeting password, so I'm gonna have to put that passcode in. Remember, you don't have a passcode for every meeting. It's up to the host if they wanna have a password or not. So you might just skip this step altogether. So I'm gonna um, highlight that, and I'm gonna press Control C. That's gonna copy uh, those numbers for me. And I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna click right in that box. And then I'm gonna do Control V. That's gonna paste it there. You can also write it on paper and type it in if you like. Um, but once you have that meeting passcode there, then you can press join. Otherwise, it'll it'll just skip this step if there's no password. And then you'll be right here and it'll say, please wait for the host to start this meeting. So right now for this meeting, I enabled uh, a waiting room. So sometimes your host will have a waiting room and you'll get this message and it says, you know, wait for them. Oh, well, I haven't started the meeting, but it'll say wait for the host to start the meeting or it might say, um, you know, the, the meeting's in progress and uh, wait, you're waiting for the host to let you in. So I'm actually gonna start on my other computer. I'm gonna start the meeting and I think it'll switch to the other. Oh, there's my face. Okay. So, oh, that's because I started the meeting. Okay, so I started the meeting and it's gonna ask you um, if you always wanna see your video preview. I think so, because you wanna make sure you look nice. Not like I look right now, but just nicer than that. Um, and then you can join with video or without video. So I'm gonna go ahead and join with video. 
I'm going to just mute my other computer because if I have two computers on, that's going to make a problem. Okay. Um, so I'm going to join with, with video. Okay. So now um, it's going to uh, let you know that the host is on and you're waiting for the host to let you in. So that means that they've enabled the waiting room. Some people, some hosts won't do that. They'll just let you write in. So it just sort of depends on how the meeting is set up. So, um, but basically you just kind of log in and, and you're good to go. All right. I'm actually going to exit out. Um, actually, let me, let me let you in so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to admit you and then you're going to see me again. <laughs> So I'm connecting, and there you are. So um, now I'm in the meeting as well, um, and I can see this is actually my picture. I'm the host, and this is me up here that I just joined on my Chromebook. Hello. Um, I like to use gallery view because that way you can see everybody that's on the meeting. When you're done with the meeting, actually, you want it. Here's your mute and your stop video. So if you want to turn your video off. You click on that. If your video is off and you want to turn it on, you just click on that again and it'll turn back on. If uh, you're talking, you can see right here, this turns green when I'm talking. It's not muted so everyone can hear me. So if you're in a big meeting especially, you, you might want to mute that. So um, you can see it kind of disappeared, but when I move my mouse, it shows back up. So just move your mouse a little um, and I'm going to press mute and then um, you'll still be able to hear me because you're outside of my computer, but the person listening on Zoom won't be able to hear me. So if you're going to have a conversation, you can mute yourself and no one in a meeting can hear you. And then when you need to talk, you just unmute yourself again. So um, that's sort of the most important stuff to know about. And um, when you're done with the meeting, you want to go ahead and press leave. Right here is this red button. And that will let you out, leave meeting, and you're done. So there you are, you're out. So again, you're either going to use um, just that link and it's going to put that ID right in for you or you're going to copy the meeting ID and copy the password and join. And you'll notice that I don't need to, oh, well, the meeting started now, so it just took me right into it. So I just put the password there. Um, so either way, just all you need is that link or the ID and the password and you'll be all set to go. Just put that in and join. Now, let me show you one more thing. So let's say you don't want to have Zoom on your computer anymore. Um, I'm going to show you where to find it. So if you go to your right hand corner, right where the time is, basically, this is all one big button. Um, so if you click on that, it's going to show your um, settings. This is sort of a preview of your most important settings. And if you come up here to this uh, little icon that looks like a gear, that's to show you all of your settings. This up here is just some notifications, so I can just clear that. Um, and so I'm going to press on this gear, and that's going to take me to my settings. And when I go to my settings, I can go to apps, which is over here on the left-hand side. And then you can go to manage your apps. So you would click on this arrow here to enter that section. And it's going to show you all the apps that you have installed you'll see that Zoom is down here. So I can click on that and simply uninstall it. And then that will get rid of it. So uninstall, yes, uninstall. And now Zoom is gone from my computer and you can see that it is not going to be on my launcher anymore. So not there and not there. So it's all gone and that's how you can erase any app at all. Now, since we're here, um, just because a lot of people get confused about this. Um, again, it's the Chrome store, right? You'll see that the Google Play Store is available on some Chromebooks. So some of you will see this and some of you will not. If you do see it, you can go ahead and turn it on. Mine, my Chromebook doesn't seem to be compatible because I'm, I'm clicking it. It's grayed out. So that tells me that I cannot. Yeah, it's not compatible. So if you have this as a button that I think is probably blue like this one and you can turn it on, then you will also have access to the Google Play Store. But otherwise, you just got the good old um, web store right here. Where'd it go? Right here. And that's where you go. All right. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Have a good one.